The more hits we play, the more hits we get. URLradio.net, Stacey Sturm. And in the studio with me right now, I have Savannah Benz. How are you, Savannah? I'm good. How are you? Good. So, Savannah, tell us a little bit about yourself. You are a mus- musician yes. from the Bismarck Mandan area here. Yeah, that's right. And um, what kind of music do you play? I do country singer-songwriter all around North Dakota. Okay. Um, so may- I do a little bit of country Christian, too, but mainly country. How old are you, Savannah? I'm 18. 18. So are you a senior in high school? I am, yep. Where do you go to school at? St. Mary's Central High School. Yay, St. Mary's. <laughs> yes. Yeah, when, you're, uh, when your mom reached out to me, I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I know that school. Definitely. I paid for that school for a long <laughs> time. Yeah. What are your plans after you graduate? What are you going to do? Yeah, I want to go to college. I don't know how long yet, but um, I thought about, you know, going to BSC for a couple of years, either doing online and moving to Nashville and doing online. Yeah. Um, or I got accepted into Belmont University in Nashville. Um, oh. So I would definitely love to go there. So we'll right. see. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of end goal probably for you anyway. Absolutely. I hope to move there either after high school or college. So yeah, yeah. that's so great. So where do you get inspiration from when you write your music? Where do you, it's where kind do you of mostly from past experiences of mine. I also take it from like what I've seen other people go through and I kind of write about that too. But I try to keep it based on my experiences just to keep okay. it personal. Sure. And do you, so do you ever just like sit around and you're like, oh, that'd be a really good song? A few times. I mean, I've written, most of my songs are from past experiences, but I've written a few songs that are kind of just random and they just form a song. I just get some lyrics that pop in my head and they just form a random song and it works. (laughs) So who are some of your music idols? Yes. um, I have quite the list. Um, (laughs) Miranda Lambert, Gabby Barrett, Loretta Lynn, Tanya Tucker, The list goes on. (laughs) You got some old schools in there. Absolutely. I I think you're the first young girl who hasn't said Taylor Swift. Sure. I'm definitely into the old country more, I feel like. That's great. Thank you. Yeah. So when did you realize you had this love for music? I feel like I've always had a love for country music. Growing up, I was always listening to country music when my sister babysat me. Um, But I started really kind of taking a love to singing um, when I was nine years old. But I think it really started to click for me after um, I got my first gig at Biz Market. That was like, okay, I'm on with the microphone, and I feel like this is definitely where I belong. And then a few a few years later, I um, went to the North Dakota State Fair Talent Contest in Minot, and I took first place, and I kind of think that definitely reinforced the idea that I should be a singer. And so I just want to keep going with it. Yeah. So um, out of all your songs that you've done, what do you think is your favorite song? Definitely my single I have out right now. It's called Without You. Um, It's the first song I ever wrote in quarantine of 2020. And it's just the most special song I've written because it's very dear to my heart. It's my story told through the lyrics. And yeah, I just think it's probably my favorite song I've written so far. Um, So what do your friends think about uh, your music? Do they come when you have gigs? Do they all come out? They do. If they can, because I suppose you, can you play bars? Do you play bars? I can. Yes, I've played (laughs) quite a few bars this past summer with my band. Um, so yeah, I played in bars, but yeah, my friends are very supportive. Um, they, they show up to my gigs, which is really sweet. Yeah. What instruments do you play? I know you play guitar. I do. Yep. So acoustic guitar, I play a little bit of mandolin, barely. (laughs) I kind of self-taught myself that. And then I used to play piano, so I can still play a little bit, but mainly the acoustic guitar. Okay. So who's in your band? It is. So right now, um, I have a lead guitarist, a bass guitarist, fiddle player, and a drummer. And then I do singing and the acoustic guitar. Okay. So yeah. Nice. So does this take a lot of time? Do you have to practice a lot? It does. Um, I've been, let's see, I've had a band for about one and a half years. It's been kind of tough during COVID to get gigs, you know. So we've been practicing. But yeah, it's definitely a lot of work, especially just to find shows during COVID. Um, Mm -hmm. But yeah, we just keep plugging away at it. Yeah, that kind of messed up a lot of people. It did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That messed up the like the entertainment, inter- entertainment concerts, events, everything. So. Sure, yep. Yeah, so so um, if people want to find your CD or your MP3s or your downloads online, mm-hmm. how can they get a hold of you? Yeah, you can search my name basically on every music streaming platform. So Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, Amazon Music, Shazam, whatever you have, I'm on there. You just type my name, Savannah Benz, and my song should pop up. And just make sure my name is spelled right. Some people, you know, always get confused with that. So it's S-A-V-A-N-A-H. So only one N? Yeah, I know. It's a little bit confusing. (laughs) 
you can't shake it up like that. Yeah. That messes things up. <laughs> That's right. And Ben's is just be Anzi. That's right. Yep. All like right. Mercedes. So Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music. Amazon, Amazon. Shazam. Um, yeah, iTunes. Basically whatever you have, it's on there. And if people want to um, to have you maybe play an event or um, play at a place of business, how can they get a hold of you? Yeah, I have a website, um, savannahbendsmusic.com. And then my social medias are at Savannah Benz Music. And I'm on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Yeah, so you can just reach out to me there too. So TikTok, what kind of, <laughs> now I just, I don't ever, I, I don't ever do the TikToks. Sure. But I stalk the TikToks. Yeah. Because they're super fun. <laughs> they are. So have you had a good response in TikTok? Because I, I know a lot of young, that's been a huge avenue now for musicians. Because definitely. people are using music on TikTok and making these people famous that never would have gotten a chance. That's right. Yeah. Um, I started TikTok about a year ago, kind of just posting not very often. But a uh, funny story. So when I released my new single, Without You, I posted a video of it. And it blew up. It got over yeah. 238,000 views on TikTok. That's awesome. Yeah. So it kind of just like, yeah, it just blew up and I gained 14,000 followers just kind of overnight, which is amazing. So I'm yeah. very thankful for that. Yeah. TikTok's been awesome for a lot of musicians and Definitely. entertainers. Yeah. That's just great. So savannahbensmusic.com. Yeah. You can find more information or they can also find Savannah Benz on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, iTunes, all that good stuff. TikTok. That's correct. Yep. Well, thanks for coming in today, Savannah. Thank you so much for having me. And we're going to play your new single right now so everybody can check it out. Awesome. Thank you. Change 